Welcome to Sat Gao, a small town in eastern Thailand. It is considered a gateway to Indochina as it is adjacent to Cambodia. Although Sat Gao is one of the least populated provinces in Thailand, there are several amazing nature sites. I'll show you in this episode. Lalu is a word derived from Khmer language, meaning pierced. Sculpted by rain and wind, Lalu in Ta Priya National Park is a miracle of nature that comes in many shapes and sizes. You can apply your creativity in exploring this amazing landscape and get some great photo or video shots. Lalu is also located next to rice fields and mountains, so we can enjoy the scenery of this beautiful contrast. This is amazing. If I didn't come here, I would never know there's such a place here in Sat Gao. This is such a miracle of nature. And the little guy just told me that it is about 20 to 50,000 years old. And especially if you love taking landscape photos, this is the place. From Lalu, we drove around one and a half hours to a nice cafe amidst beautiful nature called Wood House. This place is surrounded by three big limestone mountains called Khao Chakan. With a field of yellow flowers, this is not only a perfect place for a cup of coffee or tea, but this is a nice and serene area to witness a large flock of bats that will come out of the mountain cave every evening during sunset. Khao Chakan is the only place in Thailand with this huge number of bats. It truly is another miracle of nature in Sat Gao.
Here I am at Kaoshagan. This is a local place full of beautiful nature. You know, the first impression for me was this large field of yellow flowers. It's a Daograjai flower. And why are we here? We're waiting to see the bats coming out of the cave. Every day during evening time around 5 to 6 p.m., there'll be like hundreds of thousands of bats coming out of the cave. So it will be my first time to see this and let's watch this together. This is one of the messy places in Sa Gao, Khao Shagan, a group of limestone mountains. And we're here to climb up to the top to the temple in a cave. When I arrived, I was given a very warm welcome by a group of friends, monkeys. But when you walk, just be a little bit careful. From the bottom up to the cave's mouth, we have to climb 300 steps, not too high. These are Buddha images of different posters because in Thailand we believe that if we're born on a different days, we have a Buddha image of different posters. For example, like this poster is for the people who were born on Sunday, for Monday, for um, Tuesday, and I was born on Wednesday. So this is the poster of uh, the Lord Buddha holding the butt. You see like monks all around Thailand, they go out to the temple in early morning for almsgiving session. So uh, they'll hold a container like this for the people to give like food for the monks. And this is Thursday position, Friday and Saturday. Local food can be found on the streets. Khao man gai or chicken rice is one of my favorite dishes. The secret is about the sauce, which is a combination of garlic, chili, and salted soya bean sauce. There are still more amazing stories from Eastern Thailand. Click the links below the video to discover more. Wish you a great trip to amazing Thailand.